Today, I wanna to talk about one of my favorite movies, The Incredibles. Now, I don't know if you've seen the movie or not, that's okay. Basically, uh, there's a scene in this movie where Mr. Incredible, superpower, super strength, and he breaks down, he says, I'm not strong enough. You might think, if you haven't seen the movie, hey, he's got super strength, how is he not strong enough? He's not strong enough to lose his family again. He thought he had lost his family earlier in the film, and he, he's going into this battle, he wants to keep them over on the sidelines, and he says, I am not strong enough to lose you again. And his wife, Elastigirl, responds, that's okay, you don't have to be. It's together, we got this. That sometimes, uh, you know, br brings a tear to my eye because uh, in this life, man, oh man, the number of times I've had to come and say, I'm not strong enough. Whether that's to even fight the battle or, or letting go of something uh, that was held dearly. I'm not strong enough to lose. My weakness definitely arises up and starts to starts to take control. And uh, we all walk through this as Christians. We all face uh, these battles that we're just not strong enough to face. And in 2 Corinthians, uh, Paul tells uh, of a vision with these thorns and uh, he's just not strong enough to take it. And in uh, Verse 9, this is the Lord speaking, says, But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly of my weakness, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. For the sake of Christ, then, I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities. For when I am weak, then I am strong. The Lord tells Paul here, hey, my grace is sufficient. I know you're not strong enough. I know you are weak, but my grace is sufficient for you. My power isn't limited by your power. My power isn't dependent on your strength. No, my power is made perfect in weakness. Not it's made kind of okay. Not it's made good or, or great. No, my power is made perfect in weakness. And so Paul responds, boasting all the more gladly of his weaknesses so that the power of Christ may rest upon him. He's content with weaknesses and insults and hardships and persecutions and calamities because he knows when he is weak, Christ is strong and Christ in him is strong. Through all of the battles we face, every Thing imaginable. There are countless pains we endure and, and hardships we fight and life just gets rough. Some mornings it's hard to get out of bed and, and others it's, it's hard to make it back to bed. There are just so many things in this life that, that call for our attention, that call for our strength, and we aren't strong enough. How do we respond? How do we respond in those situations in life when it feels like we're just getting knocked to the ground? When we say, I'm not strong enough to do this anymore. I need mercy. I need something to come save me. We hold fast to this truth that Christ's grace is sufficient for us. It is enough. When we aren't enough, his grace is enough. When our weakness abounds, his strength abounds. So in our weakness, in those moments of seeming defeat, when we know that our strength is failing, we get to boast in those moments. We get to celebrate in those moments because in those moments of weakness, Christ's strength shows off. In those moments of weakness, Christ's power is made perfect in us. So through all of those weaknesses and insults and hardships and persecutions, we endure, we boast, we celebrate for Christ's strength because it is when we are not strong enough 
that we found our strength in Christ, in his sufficient grace. So I have one question for you. As you look ahead at the week, any battles you might face, any, any situation in life in which you feel that you just aren't strong enough, how can you do two things? Dwell in Christ's sufficient grace and boast in your weakness that Christ's strength it works perfectly within. If you don't know how to do that, if you are feeling like just not strong enough, we are made to walk through life together. So please reach out. Let us know. We would love to walk through this with you. We would love to go on this journey together, uh, boasting in our weaknesses when we aren't strong enough because Christ's grace is sufficient. His strength is made perfect in our weakness.